jaranka wu seda bo e bi duna to jaranka wu man si wul definitely desire you because they can they cannot do without without the food uh, you understand so um the then uh, the third one will be to sort of uh, uh, boycott the woman on bed you understand on bed okay. uh, if if that works uh, uh, and, and, and then and then if that doesn't work if all these steps will not work uh, uh, another option which is not preferred and has never been preferred by Islam mm -hmm. is sort of beating but beating here is not the way that people do it the, in the modern time uh, uh, beating a wife in the Islamic sense who is, does not necessarily mean inflicting pain on her Maybe using blows no no no, no. It, it is a it is a sort of it is a sort of you know, creating an embarrassing situation. In fact, the, the, the pious people, the way they used to do it, like one would take the, the, the how do you call it, the, the, the emma, um, uh, color. the color or the, the scarf, mm -hmm. and then, you know, like shake it on, on the woman twice or three times, sort of creating an embarrassing situation, not, not, to, inflict, not to inflict physical pain. Mm -hmm. You understand? That is not the objective of beating. That's, this, that's the beating which is recognized by Islam. No, there's a wisdom behind it. It's a, it's a wisdom behind it because it, 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 it gives the impression that, uh, you know, the, the, the person has gone out of prison. And again, here is a situation where the person will want to do everything to rescue the, the situation in order not to, 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 to jump to the last resort. Mm -hmm. You understand? So um, um, that is what Islam you know, uh, recognizes when it comes to uh, act of act of be beating. Yeah, um, uh, but like what we uh, we, we witness today, the way that uh, people engage their women in physical fi fight, which is very very violent, using us applying uh, applying extreme measures, extreme force, uh, whether it is punching or giving severe punches or lashing or sometimes they pick sticks sometimes they use very very hard object that is not what Islam you know uh, calls for mm -hmm. so in other words it is completely against the teaching of Islam so these are uh, uh, briefly the measures that uh, Islam have advised in uh, 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 you know before divorce finally comes mm -hmm. and and no matter what what is going to happen divorce would be preferred to this form of violence that I have just explained now okay. Okay. <laughs> Doctor, in, in diplomacy, yeah. uh, you told me that uh, we have what we call the third party involvement. Yes. Now, in a marriage situation, no. you know, as part of the first step, yes. can there be a third party in the form of Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, yes. In fact, like, like the verse that says, mm -hmm. third party diplomacy is part of the tactful, it's a part of tactful diplomacy in, 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 in marriages in Islam, in Islamic law. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, the husband uh, cannot himself uh, you understand, diffuse the situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe he might have tried, but the woman is because probably, you know, sometimes confusions are caused by men. Yeah. Sometimes a woman will be extremely angry and refuse and to, to, to listen to any advice and non uncompromising because of the man's own attitude at home. And, and some men, they do realize the fact that they are the cause of the problem. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, or in any other case, if you cannot handle the situation or if the person cannot handle the situation, it is always advisable that third parties are involved. And it when it comes to involving third parties, if uh, uh, the problem exists only on the other side, on one side, like one is willing to compromise and the other one is not willing to compromise, like you, the husband is willing to compromise, mm -hmm. regardless of what happened or who, may, who, may, who, who might have caused the problem. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, you can uh, involve any third party from the side of the woman, from your own side, from mm -hmm. the uh, you know the, el the side of the elderly people in the village or the home, the, the locality or the almami or the, the, that is the imam and the alkali or whatsoever, mm -hmm. uh, to defuse the situation. So if the problem uh, uh, comes from both sides, then it is advisable that a representative of the husband is invited, mm -hmm. or a representative from the husband's side is invited, and a representative from the woman's side is invited. So they took together, they sit, they sit and talk together to make sure that they represent the, 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 two, the two parties, and, and then they talk about peace, and eventually they will be able to make peace with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is exactly how the al Quran and Karim has explained it. Okay. Allah, yes. Last question on this, on this portion. <coughs> Uh, the case for men, mm. can it also be the case for women in, the mm. co in this context? Mm. For example, the man is uh, not behaving well, appropriately yeah, well. well. Now, can the woman use some of these steps? First, caution. Yeah. Secondly, if, if she's the sole financier of the family, yeah. 
you know, withdraw some financial privileges and yeah. can see those things. Why, why not? Why not? Because in fact, in the normal circumstances, you're not supposed to, see, the financial responsibility of the house is not upon her. It's, not, it's, it's, it's imposed on the men, but, you know, there are instances. In fact, today, the modern time, numerous instances where women, they do the substantial part of the financing of the house, of the family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, um, you know that under Islamic law, you have divorce, you have the right to, to redeem oneself from the marriage, or oh, that's what they call release. A woman cannot divorce, but a woman has a right to withdraw from the marital home or from the, from the marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in this case, before she gets to that last resort, if the man is not, uh, is not behaving well, or is, if the man is not up to expectation, mm -hmm. uh, before she gets to the last resort of pulling out of the marital situation, she can also, she can also similarly follow the same steps, can engage her in diplomatic uh, uh, you know, discussion, or, you know, uh, and if, if that works fine, otherwise she can engage mm -hmm. people from both sides to make uh, from the el side of the, el the, 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 the the, 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 the traditional authority or the religious authority to make sure the man is advised to behave well. Mm -hmm. So if all these steps fail to work and some of the privileges like financing and others that you mentioned, uh, well, she can also, you know, withhold. Um, and, and then, and then <laughs> what she cannot do anyway is beating because usually men are physically stronger than, than, than women. And, and, and it is not advisable for a woman to engage, to start the fighting force for some of them, you know, uh, it is not the situation. Oh, it's not the case for, for all of them. Some of them are physically very strong that yeah. they can handle their men very well at home. But it's not, although it's not Islamic, it's not advisable. Okay. But anyway, that is what uh, I have to say on this. Well, now, Alam. Mark, yeah. mm. uh, what we understand here, our situation, is mm. that uh, men of men who marry two or three wives, mm. naturally they will share days between them. Mm. Sometimes each of them will be given three days mm -hmm. in a week. Mm -hmm. He will spend three days with X, three days with, with Y, and then three days with Z. Mm -hmm. Now, in that situation, mm -hmm. if you are supposed to spend time with X, mm -hmm. and then you sided, and then went to Y to enjoy yourself there, mm -hmm. Islamically, is that if any form of there is there any, is there anything you call cheating in that in that context? Well, you see, you, uh, uh, it depends on it, it. It may be, it may be an open violation. It may be cheating. Uh, if let's say, for instance, uh, a, a person who who's married to two or three wives, and the turn is for wife X, for instance, but he or he decided to go to A. Or B. For lunch, yeah. Yes, for lunch. If he does it openly, because some of them are too liberal and independent, if he does it openly, that's not cheating. He's not hiding himself. It's, we may call it open violation of the principles of, 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 of that but particular situation, yes. Um, but if he does it by lying to the, to like, you know, sometimes it hap the way it happens, they will not plainly tell, uh, ex he will not plainly tell X that I'm going to A or B, but he may try to fabricate from a, a particular situation or lies to, you know, uh, hide himself and go, you know, and deviate mm -hmm. from, from the one on whose turn uh, he's supposed to be, then it may be cheating. But this is, uh, um, you know, it, it, it has serious implications on the morals and the, and the, and the, and the, the moral standing of the husband. Uh, but it doesn't go, and I must say this, it doesn't go into the, uh, the legality of the relationship. Uh, I, I sometimes people will say that if uh, if this if it happens and, and a child happened to be born out of this particular situation, the child becomes illegitimate. It is not is absolutely wrong. Uh, uh, you know, any child who is born after a marriage which was contracted in accordance with the teaching of Islam becomes a, a legitimate child. There is no way that the legitimacy of the child can be affected by this way of uh, you know uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> how to call it. Uh, uh, your own rules. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Usas, uh, even though it's an English program, I grab one chance and book a new land to meet. Book an apple, bunta be new, get a collateral because new ma new ma jada wahtana lip si bunta be. All of them understand. The pare fong na important na talk pur. Nero. Gawa ko hindi niya dey ako. No. The farm kumawo masawah ne. There's a difference between mm -hmm. domi banne mm -hmm. and domi haram. Mm -hmm. My life, my name, my life, my difference be. My name, my domi domi haram. My dom bo hamne. Gorbo takanyari jabar. 
Je suis allé à la Fatou, je suis allé à la Fatou, je suis allé à Maria. Je suis allé à la maison et je suis allé à la maison.